So there are three common mistakes that I often see bloggers make when I'm reading new blogs for the first time. So there's five things I want to just talk with you about. The, the five mistakes, the five most common misuses of a blog post. The first one is definitely the call to action, right? So what that means is that every blog post should have an intention behind it. What is its purpose? What do you want people to do? Do you want them to comment? Do you want them to, to engage with you? Do you want them to click on a link? Do you want them to take um, take a special, take you up on a special offer. What is it that you want them to do? So the first thing to make sure is that you have purpose behind every blog post. So really set the intention of what you want to do. The second thing that you really need to have on your website is an email capture form, right? The, the whole purpose of a blog is to, for lead generation or, or to make your sales, right? And so one of the most common mistakes that I see on blog posts is that there's no email capture form. There's no offer. There's no giveaway. There's no lead magnet, no ebook, no anything, or even a newsletter for them to sign up for. So make sure that you have an autoresponder. Make sure that you have a tool that you can collect email addresses for. And this way you can engage and continue to nurture that relationship with those that are coming to your website, that are spending the time reading your blog post, that are commenting on your information. The third thing and I just talked about it was posting with a purpose, making sure every blog post has a relevance to your business. What are you out to accomplish? If you're a network marketer, are you doing product reviews? Are you talking about leadership? Are you talking about how to build a team? If you're an internet marketer, are you talking about your coaching programs? Are you talking about products and services that you're using? Whatever it is, you want to make sure that you are fully engaged in your audience and that you're providing value and education for them so that they can better grow their business so that they can continue to do good work in the world. The fourth thing I see quite a bit happen is the inability to share, right? You absolutely want people to share your content on their social media. So whether you're on Facebook or not, or Twitter or not, it's not about you. It's about your audience and where they want to play. So making sure you have those social share icons on your website and making them easy to access, either whether they're floating down the side or they're at the bottom of a post, whatever is going to work for you. But it is super important that you have those social media buttons that you allow your audience to share the content. Allow them to be your advocate, your spokesperson. They want to be part of your tribe and get that message out. So let them do that. The fifth thing about blogging is being consistent, right? Making sure that you have a schedule that you're following, whether you're blogging once a week, once a month, bi-monthly, whatever it is, or even daily. Make sure that you're consistent so that your audience knows how to follow you. They know what to expect, when to expect it, and they look forward to seeing that. These are the five most common mistakes that I see around blogging. And I'm going to admit, even for myself, I kind of fell off the wagon for a while. So getting back into the consistency piece and being there is a big piece of blogging. So to recap, the five things that you really want to make sure that you have on your blog is a call to action. Making sure that you are intentional. You tell people what to do and why you want them to do that. Making sure you have an email capture form somewhere on your site, whether it's a sidebar or a banner or down at the bottom or it's its own page. Making sure you have a way to capture your audiences in your tribe's email address so you can continue to build that relationship for them. The posting with a purpose, making sure every blog post has an intention of serving your audience, of being of value to them. Make it all about them. Making sure your social media icons for sharing are visible so that people can share as they want to share your content on their favorite social platforms. And last but not least, number five is to be consistent. So these are the five things that I would say are, are the biggest things that you can make a difference with right now. And if you have any more questions around how to get started with your blog or to get into blogging, there's a link down below in this blog post and on this video. And this is all about my blogging course where I teach you from step one through step seven <laughs> and everything in between on how to get started with your blog, how to provide the most value, and really how to set yourself apart in lead generation and profitability. With that, my name is Chef Katrina. Thanks for being here. And I hope you got value out of today's video on blog help on the five mistakes to avoid when building your blog.